So today we are talking about how to score a hundred out of hundred in ICSE Class 10 Biology. I really don't know why I haven't made this video yet because I've already made one for Maths, History, Civics, Chemistry. But the subject I scored a hundred out of hundred in that was Biology. First, coming on to the books, the best book that I prefer is concise obviously uh see reference books are good and all but my favorite book will definitely be the school's textbook because reading really helps 90 percent of the marks you are gonna score is going to be based totally on your reading the more you read your textbook the better you're gonna be that is why i always say textbook markings are very very important you can see this video and just take a highlighter and highlight whatever i have highlighted underlined just see those are very important points and it is very important to learn them and if you keep reading it multiple times you will remember everything so nicely that your exams will be very good so in biology diagrams are also very important because you know there are going to be a lot of questions with diagrams identification and labeling or drawing a diagram and labeling that also has been marked in my textbook markings which diagrams are important for diagram and labeling because there are a set of diagrams out of which one or two can come in the diagram type questions and one or two can come in the identification ones so that is also marked so you should definitely watch this video take a highlighter sit with your book and then do it so should you do any reference books yes or no i would say you can go through reference books there is no point in buying any book right now because your exams are just in one or two months and even if you're starting like right in the beginning of the year reference books i don't feel like it's necessary for biology at least uh for that i would tell you if you still wish to do a lot of questions and you want to practice then you can just go on my telegram channel and you will find a pdf of uh you know books I've already provided a lot of books all for free on my telegram channel. Download the PDF or just go there and keep reading at least the MCQs or just short answer type questions. I would definitely recommend doing that and how to solve the tenure papers. I have said this before. What I used to do, I used to take the tenures book and solve the section A of all the 10 papers once and then go to section B and solve all the questions like that. I just I just find that method very easy to solve and bahut jaldi ho jata hai and it is not a rule that you are supposed to solve one paper a day you can do five six papers in one day the more you do the better it is aisa nahi hai if you are sitting you can do only one paper it's not like that just sit down take your tenure books and decide that these are the three papers i want to do today i'll do all the section a first and then i'll do the section b's uh, and complete it like that so you finish more and more every single day as a yoga you're completing very less since your exams are very close you need to start moving faster up pace but how and you will easily be able to complete the entire portion uh, it will be really good for you trust me if you do the tenure papers two times it is more than sufficient definitely number one is gonna be reading the textbook thoroughly multiple times keep reading the same chapter again and again again and again but while you're reading stay concentrated like focus on what's written try to understand try to remember it is not a waste of time that you're reading it again and again you will feel like itti bar kyu karna hai ek bar se nahi ho jayega kya i definitely recommend reading the book at least three to four times like if you see my textbook you will see there are some important things highlighted and i've used the textbook itself for writing some important points and question answers so our teacher used to make us do some questions in our classwork copy so i've done some over there and for the other questions i would just solve it in the textbook itself so it saves a lot of time i would recommend you to do the same so when you're reading the chapter you start reading and you will see there is a progress check after one page there will be a set of questions if you're able to answer that then only move on to the next page just read the first page see the questions if you can answer it try to write down the answer and then come 
check it again but if you are not able to then read the portion again like if you keep doing that and all your concepts are clear you will be really good and another problem that most students have is that they forget biology very easily so the thing is revision is quite important because biology is a very theoretical subject and you need to keep reading keep revising to remember things but once i'm telling you once you're done revising two to three times you will not forget if you take this textbook and ask me some questions right now i will be able to answer it and you can imagine i gave my icse two years ago yeah two or three i don't know see that really helps I, if i still remember most of the things I'm telling you, it is worth it. What should be the chapter's order? So I would tell you, finish the plant physiology section first because it is very scoring and it is a lot easier compared to the other chapters. So complete absorption by roots, transpiration, photosynthesis, uh, chemical coordination, all those chapters. All this definitely after doing cells because uske bina aap kuch nahi kar sakte ho. So definitely do that. After this section, you can either go to structure of chromosomes. cell cycle and cell division or the human anatomy physiology section the entire big chunk and you know this section might seem a bit intimidating to some students but it is not that difficult if you read it multiple times and close the book take a piece of paper and try to write down what you have read without seeing just to check how much you remember and you know aap kitna recall kar pa rahe ho so that will be a really good once you write it down and you think you are forgetting any point after you are done then go to the textbook again read it again then you see what all you have forgotten and everything like that solve a lot of questions i am telling you it will really help do the textbook questions do whatever questions your teacher has made you do in class if you don't have your notes you can definitely check out my notes i've also provided those on my telegram group and on youtube as well check out these videos uh, how to score 100 out of 100 in chemistry history civics and maths of course be it for today's video i hope you found it helpful i don't know how this video slipped my mind because bio pe kaise nahi banaya maine this was my favorite subject for sure and i also scored a 100 out of 100 as you all know you must have seen my result in this video right here and i feel like the reason why i scored 100 out of 100 in biology was also because i was very interested in that subject i used to pay a lot of attention in class i used to you know keep reading the book because i found Found it very interesting. I tried to understand, not just mug up. So definitely keep that in mind whenever you are learning. Have the attitude to learn, not just ki exam dena hai, mug up karna hai. Wo mat rakna, because then you'll see it as a burden and you will not be able to score that well. Try to love the subject, and the subject will love you. Chalo bye. Hmm?